21 days until Christmas. Good morning, friends. Last night was literally the scariest I've ever been in my entire fucking life. I will tell you the full story later because it needs to like be fully told. Morgan and I heard a sound in our house. It sounded like someone was coming down the hallway to kill us. So we jumped out her window and called the police. I'll tell you the full story later. Didn't get to sleep till like three. I woke up at seven to write a math paper. It's 8.38 now. I have class in a half hour and I have a lot of work to do today. Yeah, scariest thing ever happened to me. Not clickbait, just too tired to tell it right now. I feel like Morgan needs to be here with me to give it justice. I thought I was gonna die last night and my life did not flash before my eyes. I pretty much forgot who I was. I forgot everything except that something needed to be done. Wearing some rose quartz today for some healing and my Primark sweater and my Allbirds because the balls of my feet still hurt from running on the pavement. Barefoot in socks. All right, I just got to math. Ready to freaking learn. Yeah, yeah, you're blurry. Oh, there you are. That's me. Hi. Back again. Siri. In the flesh. Check you later. In the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> We're lightsaber. Yeah. yeah. It's like a jump rope. Oh, oh no. We're getting close. Oh, we're getting close. Good morning. Good morning. Stand on its own. Hello friends, I'm in the theater office now. 11.39, so I'm only here for about 20 more minutes. Then I head to the Welcome Center for three hours. I'm feeling dead tired. I feel like I could fall asleep at this chair right now. I'm feeling a bit nauseous. Last night, I felt really nauseous when I was terrified. And my nausea hasn't really gone away. I don't really feel like eating, but also I'm hungry, kind of. And I just, my body was very affected by the stress. So I have to edit yesterday's vlog. Someday, somehow. Check you later. In the admin building at PLEU, there's this light up thing. I've always wondered who controls that. Cassandra does. So now I have the power to change it to whatever color I want. <laughs> I am screaming. This is the most fun. Hi everyone, it's 5.20 now, so it's quite a bit later. I had work and then I came home. I took a shower and ate a snack and I called Glenn for a little bit and I've been in my PJs. My hair and my body are clean. Morgan's getting home at six, so we'll tell the story. I want both of us to be here. So keep watching for the story of the scariest night of my life. But yesterday's vlog is exporting, so I'm about to set it to upload and I think I'm gonna try and take a mini nap. My computer has been like making this computer sound whenever I edit and I don't know I think I might need to reset it or something because it's working way harder than it needs to and iMovie always like stops responding once it's exported in my video. So that's troubling but go watch yesterday's vlogmas. Check you later. Bye. Okay everyone it's late o'clock but it's time for the story. I've been sharing tidbits throughout the whole vlog oh my today. God. Should we so set it up like? I was thinking we should. So here's how it happened. It was last night. We were on Morgan's bed kind of like so under the blanket just chatting. Yeah and then we were talking we were talking like we were talking, yeah, we were talking and then all of a sudden I Morgan stopped. stops and then she puts her she like looks at me and then I stop and then we hear this sound. It was like this. There was no jingling though. It was like just a dragging on the floor. On the other side of this wall here is a hallway. So it was like coming down the hallway and the door's right here. Morgan, don't do that. That's very scary for me. Yeah, PTSD. <laughs> it was coming down because the door is right here. So we are on the bed. First we freeze and then the sound kind of stops. Yeah, and then it keeps going and we're like, it keeps going. We're like, oh God, we're about to be shot and killed and then i start I, I dialed 911 but didn't call yet mm -hmm. i like reached to grab something but all there is is this kleenex box so i just grabbed my phone and at the same time we got up started to walk over to the door because i was thinking all we have to do is get to the door and if i can get to the door we can close it and the door locks but morgan i saw my mace on my keys and i was like cool a hasty getaway and a weapon we'll do that we'll do that so we like reach here at the same time the noise is still coming closer i'm like there is someone a foot away from me but on the other side of this wall yeah it I was it was just fact yeah it just like we felt yeah. it and it was true so i reach out i slam the door i lock it morgan reaches over grabs her keys and we come over to the window which is right here i have my phone too oh yeah i was holding my phone Glenn called me and then he was like, never mind, just text me. I was like, okay, cool. And then dialed 911. She was like, 911, what's your emergency? And I was like, there's someone. 
she was like, I can't hear you because you're whispering. Yeah, and I was like, one sec. And then Cassie is putting up the blinds. At that point, when we were putting up the blinds, I was like, oh my god, like there, there's probably people outside too because how did that person get in there? Like they're yeah. they're trying to get us out of our house, maybe. I didn't even think about that because when I saw Morgan grab her keys, I was like, okay, she's going to the car. Like that's where we're going. Because we were over here and I was like, get your pepper spray, get yeah. your thing ready. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, we're going to the car. So when she pulled the blinds up, I was like, okay, pulled the blinds up, threw the woods out of yeah. the window. Hurled the window open, popped the screen out. I jumped. Out. I look back. Cassie's jumped out the window. I blacked out from the second I popped the screen out. I like don't remember. The next thing I remember is being in the driveway. And your feet hurt so my bad. Feet, the balls of my feet hurt so bad. I must have landed. There's like a brick trim outside. There's like little flowers. I must have landed right on the bricks because the balls of my feet hurt so bad today. And I knew that that was there, so I like really leaped. I was like, and I was barefoot too, and I was, I was wearing. Wearing socks. I was wearing a t-shirt and I was wearing um, like sleep really flowy sh sleep shorts and like no underwear so yes. I was I felt so exposed I was wearing this it had been raining yes it was raining so my socks were soaking wet yeah but I wasn't cold at we all we were not cold but our whole bodies by this time by the time we were over here we were yeah. both Hey, when I think back, I'm like, oh my god, I was so cold, but I didn't feel cold at all. No, I didn't feel cold we were, at all. We, and we were both shaking because of anxiety. Literally, Literally like, like this. this, our bodies were moving. <gasps> and the I got it over to my core. Yeah. Morgan's driving her mom's car right now because her car's being fixed. And the buttons are funny on here, and I don't have it like figured out yet, really. So like, it, it takes a couple presses. In my head, Cassie was gonna die because I was parked, closest. Yeah, she was closest. So if he ran out of the house, he would get, and I, I was get like, me first. And I couldn't see because it's a big mini. Van, so I couldn't see yeah. over. I was like, I have no idea what's happening. And then when I saw you get the car, I was like, Oh my god, thank god. Yeah, because I was standing there pulling on the handle, going, Morgan, yeah, Morgan. oh my god. And she's still on the phone with 911. Yeah, say that. Yeah, yeah I was on the, the phone, phone by this point. I was on the phone. I had my keys. I was trying to get my keys. I wasn't wearing pants, and, and then I was or trying shoes. to get the door. Yeah, and then I tried the door, and it didn't work because I thought I had unlocked it. But then I, I like go and get in, turn on the car. I like just forgot how to drive. Like, I don't like somehow like, we made it. Yeah, I was like, For all I know, we're driving to Mexico right now. <laughs> like, I don't know where we're going. I'm texting our roommate saying, don't come home, don't come home. Like, we'll tell you what we know when mm -hmm. we know it. And we drive over to campus and park. I take the phone from Morgan while she's driving. I was like, we're scared because yeah. we I don't know how you were talking. I couldn't even type. I was trying to text our housemates saying, don't come home and, like, give them updates. But, like... Nothing, like, was updated. Like, no. we just had fled. I was jumped out the window. Yeah, I was... <laughs> Oh, okay. there was a reason. There was, was a reason. reason. The dragging noise. Yeah. So the police comes and meets us near campus. Bring comes back to the house, searches the house. There's nothing. He like checks everywhere, the closets, the bed. Yeah, we were watching his flashlight go through the windows yeah. of each of the houses, which was so creepy. We were like, we don't know if we would prefer him to bring someone out in handcuffs or like for it to be empty. Either way, it's going to feel bad <laughs> yeah. still. But he could tell that we were so... Yeah. We I were. couldn't... Stop laughing. <laughs> it was not funny, but it was no. so funny. Because I was like, we had just jumped <gasps> out the fucking window. I, we, it was zero to 60 so quick. So fast. For, for like little justification. It <laughs> felt so real it, though. Like I, in my mind, we there was someone there and we were getting There getting was a shot. presence. I will there tell was you a presence. that. That is just fact to me. Me too. There, it was, there was so we get back in. Caroline comes home. Everything's fine. We're here. We sage. We go to sage because Morgan's like, this is the thing that feels like we need to do right now. When Caroline, first it won't light. Yeah. When you're in your room, it wouldn't light. It would not light. Which normally, like it's dry leaves. It's never not worked before the lighter. Like it could be out of oh, juice, yeah. but it's never not worked right. before. And then when we burned it out in our hallway, the smoke was black. It was like a black giant plume of fire. Yeah, and when it did light on fire, it was like a very big one. Like yeah. it was, it was not a small flame because we lit it and then it went out 30 seconds later and then we lit it and it was huge. And the farther we went out into the hallway, the more black smoke yeah. there was. There wasn't black smoke in my room. There was black smoke in the hallway and by Where the, the sound was. Yeah, and then we looked it up and it says negative energy and we were like, well, one, two. One, <laughs> There's two. bad negative energy here. Yeah. I didn't stop. My body was physically shaking until 2 a.m. And that happened shortly after 11. I don't know if I said that. Yeah. No, you didn't say it. And we were back in the house and everything was fine by midnight. Yeah. So it was all like 45 minutes, the most horrifying 45 minutes of my life. And earlier in the day, we listened to the Machete Man story. 
very scary. I'm so paranoid right now. Me too. Because now we're still the only ones home. I know. Just like last night. Why do our housemates keep leaving us? I'd Taylor. No. Megan, Taylor. Megan, Megan Caroline. Caroline. If you're watching this. If we die, it's on you. It's on us, Lutz. It feels better. It does. Than when we first got home, though. Yeah. It was so heavy. Mm -hmm. So happy. Anyways, um, thanks for watching vlog and stay four. Like, comment, subscribe. We're alive. Jumped out a window. Cortisol levels spiked to about a million for 45 minutes, but we're okay. Jumped out a window. Balls on my feet might be bruised, but we're it's here to death. tell the tale. It was. It felt like a near-death experience. And it feels ridiculous to say like there was no, no one in the house, but at the same time like there was someone in this was... house, and I don't know if they were alive or not. Yeah. I don't like that one bit. Stop making that face! I don't know. Okay, the vlog is over. We're, <laughs> we're horrified now again telling the story, so you're welcome. Goodbye. Like, comment, subscribe. See you tomorrow.